Welcome to our video on Eagle Migration. In this video, we will take a look at what's needed in order to import designs from Eagle into Altium Designer, cover a few tips and things to keep in mind, and provide an example of doing such a migration. In order to properly migrate data from Eagle into Altium Designer, there are a couple files that you will need. The source files needed in order to migrate from Eagle into Altium Designer are your .sch files, .brd files, and a .lbr or library files. Altium Designer's importer directly supports these files. Also, it's important to note that you can import these individually as well. So if you only have a schematic, only have a .brd file, or just library files, each one of these can be imported separately. However, you can also import all of these files at the same time. Also, I would like to point out that Altium Designer supports Eagle files from version 6.4 or later. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at importing a design into Altium Designer. Let's start by opening the import wizard. We'll go to File and then Import Wizard. And this will load the Import Wizard tool. Now, once the Import Wizard tool has loaded, We'll go ahead and click Next, and in here, we'll go ahead and select the Eagle files. Eagle supports the .sch, .brd, and .lbr files. Go ahead and click Next. Now in here, I want to make mention that this is asking for the design files. However, if you're importing just the library files, you don't necessarily need to put the files in place for this. Just click Next, and then in here, you can choose the library files and import those separately. For this example, we'll be importing a design. So we'll go ahead and go back to the design files and click Add. Now here, we'll go ahead and select the .brd and .sch files. Ulti will take a moment just to kind of analyze those files and get them loaded. Once that's loaded, we'll go ahead and click Next to move to the next screen. Now again, remember, we're not going to load the library files in this example. However, if you did have library files you wanted to include, you could do that and add them there. Those files would be added to the project and then you would get the files loaded as one single project including both schematics, PCB, and library files. Now once it's done analyzing the files, you'll get a set of options that you can go through and manually change if you'd like. For the most part, we'll accept the defaults here and go ahead and click Next. However, you may want to pay attention to maybe the way the power ports are named or different things like that. Also, if you did have library files included, down at the bottom, you can see that you can have those library files added to the project. We'll go ahead and click Next. We'll see a brief summary of how that file structure will happen, and then click Next again. Now, as you can see, it's going to go through the process of translating those files from schematics and PCBs in Eagle format to schematics and PCB in Altium format. Now, this will take a moment, but once it's done, We'll take another look at how we can actually verify the integrity of this design to make sure everything is in order. Now I've gone ahead and sped this up a little bit just to save us some time. Once it's done, we'll go ahead and click the Finish button. Next, we'll move on to design verification and making sure that everything came over correctly and making sure that we continue to move forward with revising or reviewing this design in Altium Designer. First thing we'll want to do is take a look at the schematics. Now, looking here, you can see that there are probably multiple schematics that were all loaded into one sheet. So, if you're happy with this, this does still work in Altium Designer. However, if you want to make sure and take it back to the original design and how it was completed, you would have to do some cleanup here to separate out these individual pages into new schematic sheets and moving the items over. The next thing we'll want to do is make sure that the design is in sync, meaning the components on the schematic are linked to the components on the PCB. To do this, we'll use component links. On the PCB side, go to Project and then Component Links. Now, since these designs were brought in together, Altium actually linked up the components for you already. So, as you can see on the right hand side, the match components are schematic to PCB and it was already linked up. Now on the left, we do have some unmatched items. However, this should usually make sense to you as the designer. And if not, you would need to investigate why there are some objects on the schematic that have component links to items on the PCB. 
Keep in mind, if these files were imported independently and not together as a single project, then you would need to use this tool to match up the components using the Add Pairs Matched By button. Since no updates are required, we'll go ahead and hit Cancel. Next, we'll want to make sure that the net names are populated to the PCB. So what we can do is, on the PCB, zoom in and take a look at the tracks, pads, and vias. And here you'll notice that the net names are populated. As we wrap up this video, just wanted to make sure and point out a couple of other things you'll want to do moving forward to verify that this design is still in integrity or doing some cleanup. One of the things is obviously to verify the rules, taking a look at those and making sure that they're still in order, fixing anything that may not quite be right, looking at your planes and polygons, allowing you to do a report possibly to clean up some connections, clearances, direct connects, whatnot. Running the design rule checker to verify that there aren't any errors in your PCB based on those design rules. And as we mentioned earlier as well, taking a look at the component links, making sure everything's intact. That concludes this video on migrating data from Eagle into Altium Designer. I hope that you find this video very helpful.